Hello all, so I am going to explain about the two firmware design approaches that are being used in the embedded hardware. There are two approaches, the first one is the superloop based approach and the second one shall be the embedded operating system based approach. The first one which is superloop based approach. This approach is adopted for those applications that are not time critical and response time is not important. That is, time criticalness is not important and the response time is not important for those systems. It is very much similar to the conventional procedural programming system where the code is being executed task by task. That is, for example, if there are 10 tasks, the first task is being executed first followed by the second one, the third one and it is being followed. Hence, it follows top-down approach. So, the execution flow consists of the following steps. That is, the first step shall be the configuration and the initialization of the parameters. Second one is the task that we start with the execution of the first task. It is followed by second, third and we finally execute the last task and we jump back into the first task and the same execution follows. So here I have been given an example of a C program which is we perform the configuration and initialization of the parameters that is being required. We start with the while loop, we enter into the loop, we execute the first task, then we go to the second task and finally we go into the third task that is the last task and this execution continues because we run inside the infinite loop. So this is called a super loop based approach because we use an infinite loop here that is the while one and this forms the super loop based approach. Since the tasks are running inside an infinite loop, the only way to come out of the loop is either by a hardware reset or an interruption assertion. So this and hardware reset brings the program execution back into the main loop and if it is in the case of an interrupt request then it suspends the task execution temporarily and it performs the responding of the interrupt and it goes back to the same task that has been paused. That is when an interrupt occurs the current execution of the task is being paused the interrupt that has been occurred is being satisfied that it is being executed. Once the execution of the interrupt has been completed, it goes back to the old uh, program execution. It completes and it, it and it uh, pauses. I mean, it starts with the old execution. Here, the two important points are the priorities of the uh, what to say the program is being fixed and the order in which the tasks are to be executed are also fixed. Therefore, it does not require any operating system. So this type of design is employed in low cost embedded products, for example the electronic video game toy. Next coming to the drawbacks, any failure or any part of this single task will affect the total system. That is if, the, if any single component of the system or any single code doesn't work, the entire system crashes and it lacks time real, I mean what to say, it lacks real timeliness. If the number of tasks to be executed within an application increases, the time, it, the time that is being required to execute all these tasks also increases which is directly proportional and there are probability of missing certain events. So in order to overcome the uh, missing of these tasks, we use watchdog timers that helps us in coming out of the loop when an unexpected failure occurs or when the processor hangs. But this may cause additional hardware costs. And next. For real timeliness, advice option is to use interrupts that requires real time attention. The next approach is the embedded operating system based approach. The OS based approach has an operating system which can either be general purpose operating system or real time operating system. That is the main difference from the super loop based approaches that these embedded products have an operating system inbuilt in them. So it could be of two types either the GPOS or the RTOS. Giving an idea about the GPOS, the GPOS is similar to the conventional PC based application development where the device contains an operating system for example Windows, Linux all these which we are using day to day are considered to be the embedded operating system based approach. The example of an embedded product development is the Microsoft Windows. It merges the demarcation of the embedded systems and general computing systems in terms of the operating system. 
So OS based application it requires a driver software for that is that is required to, for the communication for the different hardware that is present in the firmware that is large number of large varieties of hardware will be present within the single firmware so in order to communicate with all these hardware we require a driver software next is the rtos the rtos which is the real time operating system they demand real time response as its name suggests next the rtos respond in a timely and predictable manner that is we could predict how they may act accordingly they contain a real time kernel for performing these scheduling of the task and it follows preemptive scheduling and it also allows flexible scheduling of system resources so examples of rtos are the windows ce and the threadex hope you people have understood what the two basic design approaches are now coming to the previous year questions that is being used in the university so the first question that was asked was explain the firmer execution of this open loop based approach so uh it is about 4 marks and was asked in october 2019 question paper so just to explain we have to require it is enough that we explain what super loop based approaches next question that was asked was describe the firmware design approaches used in embedded product so the two design approaches one which is a super loop and second one is the embedded os based approach it is nine mark questions in essay question and it is asked in the year to october 2019 next giving a summary of what i took today what we learned was what is an embedded firmware an embedded firmware could be defined as something that controls the peripherals that is being connected to the hardware and it also gives responses in according to the specifications that is being given by the user and its main functions are controlling and providing response next the two design approaches that is used in creating an embedded firmware which is the super loop which is the super loop and the uh, uh super loop and the os based designing hope you people have understood thank you